because even cowboys get the blues. It's time to go in search of a blooming good time with an anteater. We're on an exciting trip around South America, exploring remote wilderness areas, little known towns and cities, and really cool places. Our first destination is the only South American country where the first language is English, Guyana. So it's an early morning start and we're off down to see if we can find giant anteaters this morning. Short boat ride, then a truck ride, and then wandering around looking for stuff. This morning, very early, it's 6 a.m. and we are chugging up a river in a little boat to the savannah. Our plan for the day, or at least for this morning, is to see the giant anteater. Giant of the savannah. We're just waiting for the Vaccaros to get back to us and tell us if they can find the elusive anteater. So we're on the vast savanna that stretches all the way around here and into Brazil, I assume. And uh, it's a big, huge grassland, which is used for cattle raising and searching for uh, Anteaters. Well, we're still waiting for uh, the horsemen to report back as to whether they've found anything. So we're just waiting by this pond at the moment. But uh, it's getting a bit later in the day now and we still haven't seen it. So maybe our luck today is going to run out. I think in less than the next hour or so we get something we're gonna miss out on the giant anteaters today. One of the carriers just found an anteater so now we're heading off across the plains to see what we can see. So with any luck we might spot the little bugger. So we're getting closer. Oh we can just see him in the distance. Yay! Oh wow, look at him. Well, that was brief, but it was very exciting. Great, great morning's work by the guys. And uh, yes, I hope you can see some footage later of what it was like. He's way over there in the distance now. This is one of the cowboys who's been out searching since early this morning. And he finally, finally came across a bunch of very happy tourists over here.
we are somewhat. I go to the crown the Victoria Amazonica champion flower owner. Betty over here is doing very well. <laughs> Alfred over there <laughs> is crap. <laughs> Betty is powing on steroids almost, we'd say. Victoria Amazonica is pollinated by the scarab beetle, which is attracted to the fragrant white flowers that open around or just after sunset. The scarab beetle is trapped inside the flower when it closes just after nightfall. The next evening, the flowers will open just enough to release the beetles covered in pollen so they can go and pollinate other flowers. That he got annoyed about us. Rightio, today we're heading on down to Cayman Lodge, our last stop with the tour group. We've got one night there and then we're heading off into the wilds of Merapi. Mapari. Mapari. Mapari Wilderness Camp. Okay, Merapi, Mapari. Mapari, Mapari. <laughs> There's actually probably quite a big difference. And so ends our classic trip to Kurunambalu. Came in house. They say it's up a hill, isn't it? It's at the top of the hill. Cayman house is much smaller than I thought. <laughs> these, Here we have some Amazon River fruit. turtles. These are in the grounds of Cayman House, where we are now staying. Tubs for baby turtles. Right, we're off for a night cruise down the river. Hunting caiman, we're going to hunt caiman, maybe tag some caiman, who knows. Uh, this is all part of a program that they've got going. You take a tourist on a night out, tagging caiman and weighing them and doing all the usual scientific things, and the cave tourists help pay for it. Uh, so it's been raining today. Uh, unfortunately the rivers are quite high so it's probably quite hard to catch a caiman and we will be well we'll probably struggle to get, get, get one but anyway we'll see what happens and we'll bring you any news as it comes our chariot for the evening awaits Is that rum and juice? Yeah. Rum and juice for Peter. Whoops. Any more drinks? Sorry, rum and juice for Peter. Oh, 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 oh. Just nope. Sorry. I just take this picture. Oh. Get Vicky, please. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's sounding very plaintive. Uh. Oh, you smile, right, and getting the, the sunset there. A beautiful picture. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Cheers. It's time for sundowners on the lake. What is it? Rum and juice. Very nice. Very palatable. Especially okay, if you don't have much yeah. juice. Yeah. Mud in your eye. Mud in your eye to all you. There you go. It's a market recapture program of the Black Cayman. Um, it was started since 2005. Um, we're a herpetologist from the US. Um, the pre project is mostly done during dry season because, as you can see, the level of the water is still high. The, um, the, when the water is dry, it will, the banks would be like just alongside the bushes, the shrubs. So all the animals are more stagnated and the water is shallow. Right.
right, we're on day one of our big adventure by ourselves. We've ditched the others, they've all flown back to uh, Georgetown and uh, heading out to Devlin's for a very nice lunch. We instead are heading up or down river, I'm not sure which way it is. And we are going to Mapari Camp, I believe. Mapari Wilderness Camp. Mapari Wilderness Camp, in fact. And we're staying four days up there and uh, it's big adventure time. 